Hello guys, my name is Tremik and today we are going to uh, implement the validation of the password. So the custom validation rule in the Fluent validation that it's not that easy as the built-in methods of the Fluent validation. So just to get started, uh, here I have the register request. We have the first name, last name, email and the password. So uh, the first name, last name and email uh, could be easily validated. Uh, Mm, with the methods like not empty, uh, is email, uh, and so on. But password we have to validate based on the regular expressions. So mm, actually we have to create one custom validator that will be called register request validator. Add to the git, of course, and we have to inherit from the abstract validator. From the fluent validation and specify the type. It's going to be the register request. We are creating the constructor and the first rule for. And we are specifying the password. So the password uh, that is in our request. Okay, and now we need to have the special rule for it. So uh, in this folder called extensions, we'll create uh, something called rule builder extensions. Add to the git. It's going to be the static class. And here we have to create public static void method called for instance password and specify the type t and since it's the extension method we have to uh, use the keyword this and use the i rule builder uh, we are using the type and the string so we have to specify a rule builder and now uh, we are using the rule builder so we can mm, act now uh, like uh, we'll have the class of the validator that we have created before but we can also set something like the matches and this matches uh, is the actually the regex and uh, for instance i would like to have my password validated based on minimum length uh, e also it needs to have one uh, at least one lowercase letter, uh, uppercase letter, and uh, number, and also the one special character. So we need to have a couple of those regexes. Here we have the rule builder and matches. So the first match will be from A to Z. From A to Z means that it has to have at least one lowercase letter. We can create a couple of them, so it's going to be from A to Z, but in the uppercase, so at least one uppercase letter, then matches from 0 to 9, so it's going to be at least one number, and then matches, uh, and it's going to be at least one special character. So we have to exclude, uh, so the exclusion uh, character is uh, this dash over here, and then uh, we need to uh, specify from A to Z, then from A to Z in the uppercase, and then from 0 to 9. So in that case, we're validating everything except for all of those. So it will be the special character. Uh, maybe also I would like to have the minimum length of my password. So we can just uh, get an, an argument it will be integer minimum length. And by default, I can set this, for instance, to 10. And now, uh, also, I can just add one additional rule to my rule builder. That will be the minimum length. So minimum length, and we are passing this, uh, this parameter from the method. So it will be minimum length. So by default, 10. Uh, of course, we would like just to have some uh, messages uh, in terms of uh, validations. We need just to 
uh, have like some information that it was not passed because of one of uh, these rules of or all of those. So it will be uh, with message and for instance over there minimum length was not satisfied properly and we are passing this minimum length over there okay and also we can just uh, use the with message to all of those so for instance uh, at least you need to have you need to have at least one lower case letter and we can just copy all of those at least one uppercase letter at least one digit and same with with message and it's gonna be at least one special character Okay, so now our rule builder uh, extension is properly done. So we can just add this in our register request validator. And we are using the password. So as you see, uh, this is the extension method that we can use over there. And by default, we are not using the minimum length, but you can just pass it to the argument. Now we have to uh, properly register our validator so in the programs yes you can just type services at scoped and specify that it will be i validator and based on the type so register request and uh, the register request validator just remove the lines Okay guys, now we can check if our validator works fine and our password will be successfully validated. So we are running our application and here in our mm, swagger, we can use this register endpoint and mm, type for instance here, the digit one and execute. So we have the 400 and one or more validation errors occurred. So we have the minimum length was not satisfied properly. Of course, we can re refactor this message uh, just to be mm, properly written, but uh, we have also the, you need to have at least one lowercase letter, at least one uppercase, and at least one special character. So what we actually wanted. So just now to uh, see if it will pass or not, uh, we'll just have one, two, three, one, two, three, A, B, A, B, and at least one special character. Okay, and now, as you see, uh, I'm getting the first name, last name, and the token, uh, but uh, it's like the internal logic of my application. Mm, it was not shown here, but the validation works fine. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video, please hit the like button down below and also hit the subscribe button that is over there. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned.